Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about a little used Lightroom feature called Guided Upright. Guided Upright works great if you're a real estate photographer, or if you're shooting cityscapes, or if you're at Gettysburg and you're shooting monuments and you really didn't care about making sure it was very straight, uh, like I did on this image here. Now, most often when you're shooting something like this, you're using a wide angle lens. And when you're shooting something that's very tall with a wide angle lens and you're kind of tilting your camera up, the object will look like it's falling backward like this uh, image does or this monument does. And also I wasn't very careful about making sure that it was very straight. Well, guided upright will fix both of those issues with you. It'll make it look like it's going straight up and down and it's perfectly level. Now to use Guided Upright, you go over to the Transform tab when you're in the Develop Module Lightroom, and it's the third button over here from the left. It's called Guided. If you click on that, um, what it will do is it will automatically activate this tool that normally resides right there. And with this tool, what you will do is you will draw at least two vertical or two horizontal lines. It works best if you can draw both vertical and horizontal line. It's meaning four total lines, two vertical, two horizontal. And what you want to do is find something in the image that should be as close to, let's say, vertical as possible, and then something in the image that should be as close to horizontal as possible. Now let's start with horizontal. Now this is obviously an old monument, and I'm sure that in real life, if we were here and we had a level, the horizontals, like the steps, aren't perfectly horizontal any longer. And the verticals, like the side here, isn't perfectly vertical. But we use what we can and what looks best or what happens to be the closest to vertical and horizontal. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the horizontals first. And I'm going to use this uh, step right here. And you can see that um, it should be perfectly horizontal. And as you hover over it, it will uh, give you a little magnified view. So you could very carefully click with the left mouse button exactly where you want to, keep that left mouse, left mouse button clicked in, then drag out to the other end of that horizontal in this case, and make sure that you're drawing a line that in real life should be perfectly horizontal and let go. Now you see it didn't do anything because we need at least two horizontal lines for it to do this correction. Uh, so we have the first horizontal line. Now there's not much left that's horizontal. I mean, we could go to another step right above it, but this works best if you could get the horizontal lines as far away from one another as possible. So I'm going to go up here uh, to this part of this monument, and there's just a very short horizontal line. It also works best if you have a really long horizontal line that you could draw, but you know, we have to deal with what we have to deal with here. And we have this relatively small uh, horizontal. So I'll click with the left mouse button, draw to that little edge over there and let go. And you'll see that it corrects slightly. Now the major uh, issue with this image actually is it's kind of, um, you know, falling backwards and it's a little bit crooked, but the verticals will take care of this more so than the horizontals. Now, there really isn't a perfect vertical in this uh, image. Uh, these lines here, I think, actually taper in from the bottom. So I don't think those are perfectly uh, vertical, 90 degree from the bottom uh, lines. Now, I'm going to assume that the edges right here are of this uh, monument. So I'm going to use those. So what I'm going to do is go right to this edge here. And it's going to be, a, unfortunately, a relatively short line. As I mentioned, it works best if you could draw a longer line. But we'll go right to that other edge right there. And you'll see that it will do a correction. It looks better now. And we'll go to the other side and we'll draw this other vertical line. Again, we want them to be as far away from one another as possible. And I'll go right here. Click with the Lemos button, go up to the top and let go. And you could see that now it corrected it. Now we have a lot of dead pixels now because of this correction that it did. So what you want to do is go over here and click on this little checkbox, Constrain Crop, and then it will get rid of it. And you could see that 
um, it looks much better now. And we'll put the tool away. And when we put the tool away, we'll get rid of the lines. And you can see there is our now perfectly uh, aligned monument. And that's how you use guided, guided upright. It, that's in the transform tab of Lightroom. Uh, again, this works great if you're um, a real estate photographer and you're really having problems because most often with real estate, especially if you're shooting the inside of rooms, you're using a wide angle lens. And when you're using that wide angle lens, quite often you're really distorting uh, the room. So the verticals aren't vertical any longer and the horizontals aren't horizontal any longer. And this tool comes in great because most often in those rooms, the verticals are really vertical, unlike this monument. And the horizontals really are horizontal unless the, um, the house is, uh, has a faulty foundation. They should be really vertical and, and horizontal. And when you draw these lines, you'll really uh, fix the perspective of the room. Some advice, though, make sure that you give a lot of space when you know you're going to do this. You could see that in the original image. I was really far away from this monument because you saw that these dead pixels I had there at the bottom, um, there were a lot of them. And it really cropped in relatively tight once I clicked on this constrained crop uh, check mark. So if you don't give enough room all the way around the image, you run the risk of cutting out part of the image that you really need. So make sure you give a lot of space. And that's how you use guided upright. I probably could have did a little better job on this. It still is kind of slightly crooked, but you can always go over to the crop tool and try to fix it from here. Although it, when I have the crop tool on, it actually looks pretty straight. Uh, it's just probably my eyes because I'm old. So <laughs> that's it. That's how to use the guided upright tool that's in Lightroom. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.